Machakos County journalists today stormed Shalom Hospital in the River Machakos County, demanding answers for the loss of baby Ethan Muendo, son to KBC journalist Jonathan Mutiso. Baby Ethan Muendo, who was seven months, was administered with an overdose of morphine injection at the Machakos Town Hospital after suffering minor burns on his hand on Saturday night. Shalom Hospital was in the news two weeks ago when the Yarath River branch was accused of gross negligence after a pregnant woman gave birth in the reception as nurses enjoyed tea. It is so evident here it is 
dawa ile alidunga ndio hiyo ameandika kwa hizi karatasi morphine morphine unadunga mtoto aje mtoto wa miezi saba morphine tena anasema alimdunga 75 mg of morphine how that was an intent to kill she wanted to kill my son na sijui anataka kuwa mtoto wangu kwa nini hatuna pali tunajuana hatuna uhusiano wote na hospitali yenyewe but they killed my son i need justice I'm wondering kulikuangana issue ingine juzi at the same hospital I thought wamebadilisha wame but sikujali nikileta mtoto for, for simple simple dressing ya mkono walikuwa wanamdunga dawa ya nini wanasema wana relief pain which pain mtoto alikuwa anacheza it means mtoto alikuwa na pain the two wale waliosika waliua mtoto wangu that is what i know and they, they should be locked in hata wafaipo kwenda kotino wapo bond they should be locked ni jambo la kusikitisha kuona Shalom. Mimi ni victim wa hiyo hospitali. 2016 Novemba. Mke wangu alikuja kujifungua hapa. Akaachwa kwa ward peke yake. Nasa akaenda ku Facebook, akaenda kuangalia WhatsApp. Mke wangu akashindwa kusukuma mtoto, mtoto akaisha nguvu, akajifungua mtoto amekufa. Ukikuja kwa administration wanakwambia sorry. Sorry na umepoteza mtoto wako. Tunashangaa hii hospitali na kama waandishi wa habari tumeandika habari nyingi kuhusiana na Shalo Machakos at the river lakini hakuna hatua ambayo tunaona inachukuliwa mudhubuti ya ya hii hospitali tunaulizwa kwani hii mikutano inafanywa fanywa mikutano inafanywa tu mikutano ama nini kinaendelea kina tunataka haki ya hao watu ambao wanakufa hapa tunahakika kando na hao watu ambao tunajua wamekufa kutokana na uzembe na utapetevu wa madaktari kuna watu wengi wale ambao ni wadogo kule mtaani watu wamekufa kwa hiyo hospitali. Hiyo hospitali iko na NHIF. Mtu akilemewa kwa General Hospital anakuja hapa kidhani atapata huduma. Anakuja anaacha pesa nyingi hapa. Mwishowe unakuja unachukua maiti unapeleka mochari unakwenda kuzika. Ukiuliza unaambiwa sorry. Sorry na mtoto amekufa. Tafadhali serikali ya kaunti ya Machakos. Wizara ya afya Kenya hiyo hospitali ifungwe. Kuundwa jopo maalumu ichunguze utendakazi wa hospitali hii, ichunguze wale walioandikwa hapa kwa sababu kama hii ndugu yetu Rasta hapa ameandikiwa dawa tunaambiwa inadungwa watu ambao wana maumivu ya ugonjwa wa saratani. Stage 4 ipunguze machungu. Umedunga mtoto wa miezi saba Alafu naambia mtu ati sorry. Wewe umesubiri miezi tisa ukajifungua. Ukalea miezi saba, alafu naambiwa sorry. Na watu wanataka kuendelea kuchukua pesa za watu wa Machakos. Wafunge hiyo hospitali. Yes. Yes. Watu wataendelea kufa hapa na sisi kama waandishi wa habari tumechoka kuandika hizi habari. Kwa sababu mpaka pia haki ipatikane. Kwa hivyo daktari Alfred Mutua gavana Machakos hiyo hospitali funga hata hiyo ya, ya the river ifungwe yes. ziondolewe hapa twende hospitali ambazo tunajua zinafaa kuliko wewe unakuja hapa una matumaini kwamba mambo yatakuwa mazuri unatoka hapa na kilio na ni kilio cha kusababishiwa hata nange kufa kulingana na ile maelezo tunapata hapa hange kufa hiyo ni kifo ya kutakiwa haki itendeke kama waandishi wa habari katika kaunti ya Machakos tumechoka kuandika hadithi za Shalom Hospital. Na kuna cases mingi sana ambazo tumepata watu wamekuwa mistreated kwa hiyo hospitali. Na juzi kumekuwa tu uchunguzi tu hapa at the river ambapo eti inasemekana hiyo hospitali ina employ quacks and qualified people and the procedures are not well uh, you know adhered to. Na tumesikia hapa E, watu wa KMDPU wanakuja hapa. Tunataka kuambia bwana Dr. Yumbia na wenzake hiyo hospitali ifungwe until such a time that they will convince Kenyans that this hospital will deliver quality services. Ni hayo tu kwa sasa. John Musyoki, Kenya Digital News.